In this video, we're going to configure the surface roughness function with pass fail criteria for use with operator mode. I've taken an initial scan to configure our pass fail criteria. I'm going to add our surface roughness function. This can be run on the full field of view or on part of the field of view by drawing a rectangle. We have options for form removal. In this case, I'm going to use a plane because my part is flat. We also have options for filter cutoff. In this case, I'm going to use 2.5 as my filter cutoff based on the ISO spec. You can find a chart that will help you select the filter cutoff in the user manual. And now I'll click Analyze. Now I've configured my surface roughness function to output the result that I want. So I'm going to click the set defaults button. These are now the default parameters for our analysis. Now let's go add a pass fail value. To do that, we'll go to configure, we'll save our changes and we'll go to Analysis. I'll select Surface Roughness from my list of functions here, and I'll check the box for Pass-Fail. In this case, let's say I am interested in rougher surfaces. So I'll say anything over 10 is going to be considered passing. There's my description. Now I'm ready to configure operator mode. I'll select operator and I'll specify the capture folder. This is where my scans are going to be saved. I'll just save a new folder on my desktop called surface roughness. And I'll open that folder. Now I can select if I want my operator to be able to calibrate or validate. And I can select the routine I want to run. In this case, we're going to use surface roughness. We can see what the surface roughness function is doing, and we can also see that it has pass-fail criteria configured. Next, I'll enter a password. This password will be needed to exit operator mode. And I'll click Start. Now we're in operator mode. And the point of operator mode is to limit the functionality of what the operator can do to just the task that needs to be done. So we can see, if I click this gear icon here, I can mouse over device. I have options to calibrate and validate because we enabled that. I also have an option to select gel. This would be to select an existing calibration. I have the option to use a guide on the screen, like a rectangle. And I have an option to name my scans. So I'll just call this scan. I also have the option for tile size. And that just refers to the size of the thumbnails of the scans that we're going to take. Now you can see in the bottom right corner, I always have the option to focus my camera when this is a Series 2 system. I will now go ahead and scan my part. Now you can see my result is generated. It says it's passing. I can see the result of my scan, and I have a green box around my thumbnail. This is a passing scan. As the operator, I can't adjust any of the input parameters that we set outside of operator mode. All I can do is pick redo scan or next scan. We'll click next scan. 
And for this one, I'll scan a smooth surface that I know will be a failing example because we need a rougher surface to pass based on the configured pass-fail criteria. So I'll just scan this surface here. And this one has an SA value of less than one. So we can see that we're failing. And as the operator, we can redo or just click next scan. We'll take one more scan of our passing material. Now we can exit operator mode and enter our password. Once we've left operator mode, we can generate a CSV file of all of the output data from the scans in the folder. 